is the Robotics and Automation Summer School, and it is a fast-paced, kind of structured internship program. For rising seniors that produce a prototype that solves a mission-critical problem here at Los Alamos National Lab. It's a very rigorous selection process. We had almost 600 applicants, and we selected the 12 most qualified for robotics and automation. This is our second year coming off of a very successful first year. We've grown from nine students to 12 students, and I think of RAS as being the top gun for automation. So we have these super qualified candidates that are close to graduating from their, their college studies that we hope to retain here at the laboratory. The benefits for the students are that they get a real hands-on experience building prototypes and systems that are very relevant to Los Alamos National Laboratory. Los Alamos National Laboratory is providing a venue to bring this world-class talent together and channel it to solve the mission-critical problems of tomorrow. You gotta close it again. Oh. This year we have four teams working on four different distinct projects. This type of rapid prototyping, you think about how long these projects would take if they were being done elsewhere in the lab, and it's really impressive to see what the students are able to accomplish in such a short amount of time. The DMO Furnace Teleoperation Project is where we're using a teleoperated robotic arm to take a winch hook and attach it to a DMO basket that is then lifted out of the furnace. We can communicate this, all the positions from here, through this computer and then run it all the way to the robot and it will mimic the movements of the happy device onto the robot. So the DPP-3 Unsealing and Sealing Automation Project is a project that's actually a partnership between Los Alamos and the Y-12 National Security Complex. The idea here is we have a DPP shipping container and we need to remove 20 bolts from an outer drum and a inner vessel. It's a shipping container for some radioactive materials. And of course, we don't want people being exposed to radiation. So we're making an automated system that will bolt that where someone can stand back from it. So the E2 laser weld project is an interesting one because it deals with additive manufacturing. It is a process where we're using a laser to place small amounts of metal and the laser melts it such that the metal can kind of flow into the right place and build the part that you're trying to create which utilizes a robotic arm to successively layer foil onto the surface of a specific object and perform weld operations on that object. The conveyor project is a collaboration with ARIES. The overall goal of the project is to create a conveyor system to transport um, radioactive material um, into glove boxes, and then also adding that robotic arm adds another level of safety, ensuring that everyone in that production is in a safe manner. So I really love robotics because I've been interested in mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and software engineering, and robotics is like the perfect way to blend and gain exposure to all three of those. I am a mechanical engineer, but my partners are a biomedical engineer and a robotics degree. With this, we effectively combine all our skills and are able to support each other in both our strengths and our weaknesses. I hadn't really done a lot of robotics, especially the type of robotics we do here, so there's always something new to learn, a new skill to develop within robotics. I think what I'm going to remember forever about this program is what can be accomplished when a group of people work together towards a common goal has been really exciting to see. Because at Los Alamos National Laboratory, we're not just imagining the future, we're building it.